Top 9 Crazy Facts About the Coronavirus Outbreak The Corona Beer brand was damaged talk about bad luck. The Corona Beer logo has a crown on it. The word Corona means crown in Spanish and Latin. Coincidentally, the coronavirus got its name from the crown-like spikes on the surface of the virus particles. When some people first heard about the new virus, they were confused and may have associated it with the Corona Beer brand. They may have even believed that the virus was spread by drinking the beer. It is unclear how much of an impact this mistaken belief has had on sales of the beer as various sources have reported different results. According to YouGov, a British market research firm, Corona Beer's Buzz Score, a measure of the popularity of the brand, has dropped from 75 to 51 since the beginning of 2020. The whistleblower scientist was killed by COVID-19. It's almost like the coronavirus is trying to eliminate any witnesses. In an unsettling irony, Li Wenlian died after contracting COVID-19. Li, a Chinese doctor who worked at Wuhan Central Hospital, was known for being vocal about the dangers of this emerging virus. At least as early as December 30, 2019, Li warned fellow medics about the possibility of an outbreak. The Chinese police advised him to stop making false comments in a government attempt to sweep the situation under the rug. Coronavirus death of Wuhan doctor sparks anger. After Li's unfortunate death, a big part of the Chinese population was understandably upset. This propelled the hashtags Wuhan government owes Dr. Li Wenlian an apology, and we want freedom of speech to trend on Weibo, a Chinese social media site. The Chinese government was quick to censor both hashtags. This latest controversy only adds fuel to the difficult relationship between Chinese authorities and their population. In 2019, the tension between mainland China and Hong Kong reached a breaking point due to resistance from Hong Kong against the government's policies. The coronavirus is deadlier for men. Chinese scientists have found that men and women are equally likely to be infected by the coronavirus. But fatalities in China have occurred at a rate of 2.8% for men compared to 1.7% for women, suggesting that men are more likely to die when infected. Keep in mind that these statistics may understate the rate of infection in both groups, so these percentages could be revised with new information. At present, the most probable reason for the gender difference can be attributed to something that scientists already knew, the female immune response is stronger than that of males. Although the exact reason for this is still unknown, it is believed to be linked to either the higher levels of estrogen hormone in women or the fact that each woman has two X chromosomes as opposed to a man's one X chromosome. Where there is the Internet, there are conspiracy theories. The COVID-19 epidemic has been handled in a surprisingly mature way by people on the Internet, except for a meme or two. However, the surge of new cases outside Wuhan, especially in South Korea and Italy, has led some people to be suspicious. The mysterious death of the whistleblower did not help either. These speculations are not true, although they certainly have attracted the attention of many people. According to one theory, China engineered the coronavirus as a weapon. The virus was then released to make space for agricultural expansion. Even politicians seem to have conspiracy fever. U.S. Senator Tom Cotton also accused the Chinese government of foul play. Wuhan flu is not the first outbreak that originated in China. Notoriously, SARS and the Asian flu also started there. On top of the fear and uncertainty generated by this new epidemic, Asians have to deal with racism and xenophobia. Anti-Chinese sentiment has been building up in the past two months. These reactions are perhaps understandable but definitely not reasonable. Most of the spread to other nations is due to non-Asians visiting China and returning to their countries rather than the other way around. Can lightning strike the same place twice? Well, yes, that's the whole point of surge arresters. Unfortunately, when it comes to the coronavirus, the same principle applies. Let's say you got the virus and were able to bounce back. You are fine, right? No, not really. Recently, a Japanese woman was diagnosed with COVID-19 for the second time. The woman is a tour bus guide in Osaka, which makes her more easily exposed to infection due to the number of people with whom she interacts. That news is grim because it heightens the potential impact of the disease. Furthermore, it makes the development of an effective vaccine less viable. 
Scientists are still trying to figure out how the coronavirus can infect the same person twice or if there is another explanation for the double positive results. At this point, many people have heard about the most probable origin of the coronavirus. China has a reputation for having a peculiar local cuisine as wild animals can be bought at outdoor markets and eaten. One native delicacy includes an allegedly delicious, and quite creepy, bad soup. Scientists are currently trying to determine which animal is responsible for transmitting the virus to humans, but they are still unsure. Two other potential culprits include snakes and pangolins. If you were in New York in early February 2020, you might have come across a figure straight out of Isaac Asimov's eye, Robot. This cybernetic paramedic was created by Promabot, a Pennsylvania-based company. The droid was being tested in and around parks. Supposedly, the 152-centimeter-tall robot could screen for the coronavirus by wandering the streets asking people if they had fevers. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure subscribe this channel.